It started with a single horrifying post, and then the neighbors started weighing in, and pretty soon, an entire community was telling the same story. Pets are disappearing and later turning up dead in Highlands Ranch. And this area is no stranger to wildlife, but the frequency and the number of attacks here has a lot of people on edge tonight. Denver's Everett Jason Grenauer is hearing from homeowners about what happened and what you should do to protect your pets. It's a place where you can, you know, raise a family. That includes the family pet. In this case, my cat, who Mowgli, he was my guy. He got out earlier this month, eventually found by a neighbor. In their driveway, and he was pretty mangled up. It looked like he'd been nabbed by a predator of some sort. Mowgli didn't make it. But when the MG family posted the sad update online to warn neighbors, we started finding a lot of neighbors just in this area here had lost their pets, and mainly cats. And then people were finding pretty much mutilated cats or parts of cats, just the legs in some cases. Most within the West Ridge subdivision in Highlands Ranch. We're looking at 10 cats that have gone missing in the last two weeks and either turned up mutilated or you know dismembered. We talked to Colorado Parks and Wildlife though and they say they have not seen an increase in predatory activity here in the area, adding if it was an animal responsible, it'd most likely be a coyote or some kind of bird like a red tailed hawk or great horned owl. This does serve as a good reminder that people need to protect their pets at all times. An email from Seapaw read. It's very tough because they're he's, he's a member of the family. The MG family is still reeling, but now wanting to make sure this doesn't happen to any other neighbors pets. We've got a lot of predators in the area. We got to put the word out. We've got to figure out a way to live with them in Highlands Ranch. I'm Jason Grenauer. Denver 7. And the family started a Facebook page to help lost pets get back to their owners. And so far, several hundred people have signed on, and there have already been 10 reunions.